After his pilgrimage, Malcolm spent three weeks in Africa. On May 21st, two days after his 39th birthday, he returned to New York. Malcolm, have your experiences with uh, white-skinned Muslims in uh, Africa and the Middle East made you feel that uh, relations between Negroes and whites who are not Muslims is any more possible? Uh, when I was in on the pilgrimage, I had close contact with Muslims whose skin would in America be classified as white and with Muslims who themselves would be classified as white in America. But these particular Muslims didn't call themselves white. They looked upon themselves as human beings, as part of the human family, and therefore they looked upon all other segments of the human family as part of that same family. Well, now, uh, they had a different look or a different air or a different attitude than that which is uh, reflected in the uh, attitude of the man in America who calls himself white. So I said that if uh, Islam had done this, done that for them, perhaps if the white man in America would study Islam, perhaps it could do the same thing for him. Malcolm, just Are to you prepared to go into the United Nations at this point?